Yeah, it's that time again. Tuesday, October 16th, 2007. My name, Jeff Kohler, a.k.a. The Option Addict from optionaddict.blogspot.com. And here is my weekly watch list. So I'm watching the S&P 500 score over a few points this morning. Keep in mind, it is earnings season, the heat of earnings season this week. Therefore, I really shouldn't even be doing a watch list, to be quite honest. But for the sake of technical analysis, and I'm, I'm a little bit bored to boot, we'll go ahead and do it anyways. I'm going to start off with some price patterns like I normally do, and we're starting off with Toro, ticker symbol TTC. And I'm watching a pretty big triangle set up here, uh, one that happens to be about a, uh, 11 points wide based on the price of the stock. So expecting a 20% move in Toro that could be to the upside or downside, only time will tell. So keep an eye on it. Next, I'm going to look at MGM. While we've seen a little bit of weakness in some of the other casinos, MGM still looking pretty strong. See a nice bull flag here, right up at its highs, right up at about uh, off of $100 per share. If this stock above, pops above $100, I think it goes to $120. So I like this here. Next, I'm looking at ARJ, Arch Chemicals. You know, all I'm seeing here really is a, just an early onset of a pennant. Nothing too major, right in front of earnings. It's probably not going to be that powerful of a signal anyway but I'll keep an eye on it. Next is UAPH and what you can see here it's just an ascending triangle. Plain enough. I'm also watching APC HPC, excuse me, Hercules. Another ascending triangle. Cheap stock too. Next Amerisource Bergen, old ABC. I like ABC here. Descending triangle. Working its way lower. Can even take an anticipatory trade here at resistance and probably see it go to the lower 40s. I don't think that's too bad of an idea. Next, LFG. If you remember the explosion we saw to the downside in this one on the last descending triangle, you've seen another solid setup going on here today. Get rid of that trend line. It's all in my business. There we go. So nice little trend line here at 40, sloping downward. Nice little trend line moving horizontally at about 38. Nice breakdown yesterday. Pretty good short opportunity or an opportunity to buy some puts. Next, STI. Descending triangle. Boom. Next, Campbell Soup. I don't make them up, I just see them. Nice symmetrical triangle here on Campbell's. CHDX. Looking at this nice little sideways action here, consolidation of a flag. Keep an eye on this one. It's got a beautiful trend here as of late. And I'd measure from right about here. I'm also watching LEG. The thing that sucks is it's 20 bucks. I hate that. Too cheap, but watching. Cameron, so you didn't see much of a flag going on here, but it's breaking higher anyways. Don't miss too much more of the activity here in Cameron. It was a market cast trade back here in August. It's done nothing but go up since then. Again, oil, strong right now. Look at Cameron. Good opportunity. Magellan, MMP, descending triangle. I'm probably going to take it here as it rolls over. Sue me. Next, Oshkosh, OSK. I like this flag. It's a textbook. I'm going to measure it from about 57 up to its highs at about 63. Six point move, which should take it beyond resistance. I'm also going to look at GCI. Descending triangle here in Gannett. It's breaking out. It's a good looking setup. Dactronics, D A K T. So all the profits I've reaped in this stock, giving most of them back, but I like this flag here, waiting for a breakout to the upside and I'll probably add to this thing. AKS, AK Steel, let it consolidate here, it's probably going to do so up until earnings and after earnings I imagine you're going to see a nice little healthy breakout here. It's a good value play if you're looking at steel. So is Schnitzer, but we'll get to that in a minute. OYOG, Geospace, I like the flag here as should you. Going to look next at TNL, ascending triangle recovering in an upward trend, and SINT descending triangle working its way lower in a downward trend, and UAUA ascending triangle. Boom. So that's my patterns for this week. Stocks that support, look to buy Hansons if you haven't yet. The longer it trades sideways, the more exciting the stock is to buy. I'm also looking at BYI, Valley Technologies. It's going to retrace a little bit more, but have it on your radar for when it's done moving down. I also like YZC here. 
Nice little pullback here in some coal miners. Uh, anything energy related, you should be buying. CHU, like China Unicom, great value play for China right here. Just consolidating a little bit. I like it. Uh, also, the BEAV, B -E -A -V. if you want some aerospace, stay away from Boeing. It's likely to retrace a little bit here. But BE Aerospace, grab this dip as it starts to make new highs. Also, you got to buy the dip in ESRX. You just have to. There's really no questions asked here. Good trend. Love the stock. Uh, Medco, MHS, if you want a stock that just does nothing but go higher, even though it's not at a very fast rate, keep an eye on MHS. If you want to get into the food industry, you got to buy Chipotle on the dip. There it is. I like the buy opportunity here. Also, if you like foods, Whole Foods Market, WFMI. I took a reversal here in the early stages, loved it at 45, eh, it's okay at 49. What I see here is a trend that's getting ready to recover, so watch it. Abercrombie and Fitch, I think this is going to be the upcoming uh, big time trade coming soon. I think the stock breaks out pretty significantly to the upside, especially ahead of the holidays. So ANF, I want you to watch that. Inucor, BLUD, got to buy the dip here too, what can I say? CMED. Again, more China, China Med. Get some here. Davida, been touting this stock for quite a long time, ever since this breakout back here. If you don't own it, buy the dip. Manitowoc, you want some heavy machinery? I like the trend here. It's a good looking dip. FSTR, you can see all these things are going to be similar, buying the dip. Uh, CCJ, hasn't really been t participating as much with the market, but maybe it's uh, not too far off of its highs here. Superfly, SFLY, Shutterfly, whatever. Nice looking dip here. C Trip, CTRP, same thing. RIM, we all know what RIM looks like. I won't spend too much time there. Energizer, ENR. So even though the flag that we were watching failed, I still like the support trade here. I also like ATW. How can you not like Atwood right at 80? It's a great way to manage risk. DEC, D-E-C-K, right around that old resistance is new support. S-T-R-A, Strayer, education, you want some education? Got to get long here. I'm also looking at Priceline. I'm amazed that Priceline has done what it's done in, in this year, but uh, nice little dip here in the 90s. Grab it before it gets to 120. C-N-Q-R. And we've been buying this one here for a little while, looking for another nice little easy place to add. Looks like it's coming up here pretty soon. Schnitzer, that's the steel organization you got to get long, my friends. This one's been a gem. Also like ARW here, Arrow, as it's breaking into new highs. And SNDA, as it's pulling back out of its flag. So some bearish ideas, not as many as I had last week, but I'm, uh, some of those last week's ideas still apply. I'm watching EQ, which is Embark. Still watching Cardinal Health, CAH. If you missed this one from last week, it's not too late. Some of these are, but that one's not. Energy Conversion, not too late, looks good. PNR, yeah, this one's been uh, wanting to go up, but I, I like it right at this level. I'll continue to watch this here. PTRY. Lower highs, lower lows. KBH, you want some home builder exposure? That one's got a little bit of room to dip. And ACIW, same thing. I still have a lot of ideas here I'm not able to get to. Again, my watch list is such that there's just too much and too little time. So I'll follow up with a written post on some stocks that I'm watching that I'm looking to break out of support or resistance. But folks, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off for today. Thanks as always for watching this week's watch list. Have a good one.